LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard. Okay, so with this video, we're going to show you how to put your key onto your keyboard. And we're going to start out by looking at the plastic pieces on your keyboard. <clears throat> you can see that there's a rubber cup in the middle. Don't worry about that because uh, you can easily take that off and put back in just like that. Um, you can see that this plastic piece here has two holes. has one right there, one at the bottom and then it has kind of a uh, plastic large hook here so that uh, the position for that is going to determine the position for these hinges what we're going to do uh, is three steps the first one is to click these two pieces together to make one piece then that we're going to click onto this a keyboard and finally the keycap goes on top of that. So we're going to start out by determining the position of the large piece first and you can see that it has two pins to the right at the top and bottom and then it has two pins at the left top and bottom. But you can see that the large, I mean the large vertical bar to the right has a bit of a bump in the middle and that's going to go aligned with the large bar on the plastic that's already attached to the keyboard. So if this large bar were to be on this side then we need to flip this over in order to match it. In this case it's to the right so we're going to put it like that. Now make sure not to put this whole piece upside down like that because it looks the same but it won't allow the mechanism to work. So you determine that by feeling underneath the uh, uh, top horizontal bar. Feel very carefully and if you feel there's a bump there or like a gap uh, a discontinuation that faces the keyboard and on top it's supposed to be one smooth piece so now that you know the position for that piece put it down for now get your next piece which is this <coughs> and you can see that it has kind of a rugged bar here to the left to the right and a smooth one to the left now that uh, rugged one goes wherever the large bar is on the keyboard so in this case it's to the right we're going to put this to the right then make sure not to put this whole piece upside down like that with the same technique if you feel it's th the bottom part is discontinued that faces the keyboard if it's one smooth piece from side to side that faces away from the keyboard now what you want to do is click these two pieces together so you want to put the small piece over the large piece and put the bottom bar of the small piece on I mean not the bottom bar put the left bar of the small piece underneath the left bar of the large piece and simply click those in there <clears throat> 
the large piece has two pins that are going to go in the middle of the small piece. So there you go. Now both pieces are one. What we're going to do is put the left bar of the small piece underneath that square hook that's already on the keyboard and make sure that you get the uh, the small piece underneath not the large one underneath that hook then we're going to keep that in place and push those pins that are up here and down here onto the fittings that are down here and down here already on the keyboard and just push those right in finally you get your keycap you put it right in the center and push down evenly on all four sides and that's it <coughs> now for the large key uh, we have to determine the position for the keycap and you can see that at the top it's cut square and then the bottom here has kind of a hill, a downhill if you will an angle. Now we're going to flip this piece this way. We're not going to flip it this way because it's going to create a lot of confusion. So let's flip it over the back to the side and get the metal wire that comes with it. And you can see that it has two fittings. One over here at the bottom left, I mean right, and another one at the bottom left. But also it has one over here kind of uh, in between closer to the right and those are going to accept this wire so you just put this in between those fittings and you click it in and that's it now you flip your key over again and what you want to do is open up the wire like this and put that wire, the end of those wires, underneath that uh, these two plastic uh, pieces here. You want to put one side in first on its side. Let's do this right side. You can see how it's going in there. Then you want to put the other one under in underneath also, but you kind of have to pull and stretch enough for the wire to go underneath. Once both wires are underneath that, you just have to flip your key over and push down evenly on all four sides. If your key gets stuck like that, don't worry about it. Just pull it up and after that you'll be fine. Mine isn't going back up because I didn't put the rubber cup there, but if you put the rubber cup, it should, it should work fine. And same thing for the enter key. That you put the hinges in, then the wire, and that's it. LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard.